live fragrance I'm going to review a kind of hidden gem, a kind of under radar fragrance that uh, I want to really talk about it. It's a fabulous fragrance and it's still in production. It's not a discontinued fragrance and it's a gem, as I said. So on this fragrance, um, I really love it because, you know, I'm going to explain to you why I love it. Uh, let's uh, discover the scent together because this fragrance, uh, it's a... Uh, kind of fragrance that nobody really talk about it but i want to talk about it because that's my job a bois et vediver by pascal morabito paris uh well this fragrance uh, was uh, not long ago in the collection of pascal morabito uh, colognes and i really love this fragrance i'm going to explain to you why uh this fragrance uh, bois de vediver bois and vetiver uh, is an aromatic green fragrance and the nose behind this is a very good perfumer uh, he always do a nice job Serge Lier. top notes are cardamom grapefruit base uh, heart notes are jasmine and geranium base notes are vetiver and musk um, main accords are aromatic warm and spicy woody earthy musky fresh and spicy citrusy and white floral well i bet there is more than this in this fragrance and uh well uh, it's my feeling there is also some animalic notes this fragrance it's well it's a uh, bois et vetiver uh, immediately uh, i decided to talk about this fragrance because this fragrance it's Again, another homage to uh, Bois de Vediver by Jacques Bogart, which was released in the 80s and now has been discontinued. It's on the same ballpark, of course, but the more important thing with this fragrance is that remind me immediately of the vintage Carven Vediver uh, from 1957, which I reviewed is on my uh, playlist of Carven fragrances. And also reminded me again immediately of the vintage Guerlain Vetiver, which is two different things from the current version of Guerlain Vetiver. If you ever try the vintage version, you will realize what I'm talking about because on the vintage version of Guerlain Vetiver and on the vintage version of Carven Vetiver, we had that animalic note somehow on fragrantica it is not mentioned there is an animalic note but there is animalic note okay maybe it's a molecule because nowadays we cannot use a civet anymore or uh, we cannot use a castorium oil either but anyhow they managed to have that uh, animalic note and the perfumer done a great job over this fragrance really it's a nice vetiver and the bottle is huge you get 200 ml for less than 30 or 35 dollars on pascal morabito page it is sold around 55 euro which is around 60 65 dollars but don't don't go there because on the discounters on web you can buy it for 25 or 30 dollars maximum you get a huge chunky bottle of 200 ml fabulous uh, fragrance okay something uh, is missing here it is the lasting power because this fragrance doesn't last more than three or four hours on my skin unfortunately but it is a cologne so for a cologne you cannot expect more because uh, usually the colognes are like that you have to reapply so you have to make a decant or you have to have a pocket uh, atomizer to reapply it on your skin um, you know after three hours you have to reapply again but it's a fabulous fragrance really for the price the the value is great is a real budget wise fragrance it's a real classy vetiver i'm telling you it's when you wear that uh, lots of your friends and surrounding will ask you are you wearing girland are you wearing a, a even there is some resemblances with the uh, gray vetiver by tom ford because one of my uh, friend told me are you wearing gray vetiver and i told him no i'm not wearing gray vetiver so 
people immediately they get confused and they don't know if which which very very you are wearing this is a under the radar gem nobody talk about it few only reviewers ever reviewed that it's a budget wise fragrance a it really it's a kind of easy to wear fragrance if you like very if you like woodsy very with the animalic hint then buy it buy it even even if you buy blonde dye you are not going to lose your box because this fragrance costs you maximum thirty dollars for 200 ml so 100 ml will will be 15 dollars only so this is fabulous this is fantastic what you ask for more the packaging is nice very simple bottle but very heavy glass the quality of the juice is great but doesn't last more than three four hours so you have to reapply it's not a big issue nowadays lots of fragrances that they don't last more than three or four hours the the current version of aventus by creed lasted on my skin only four hours only four hours for three hundred dollars so this one lasts four hours for thirty dollars so i think i'm not going to blame pascal morabito pascal morabito uh, they in his collection they have lots of good and you know hidden gems so it's up to you to discover i always try to find out the new uh, gems from the house of pascal morabito or others and i will introduce it to you but it's, it's also up to you you can you can test them you can buy them anyway there are uh budget wise fragrances they they never they, they are never going to break your bank so don't worry for that you know maximum you pay 30 25 dollars and it's fabulous it's really made by good perfumer uh, the, the fragrance is solid reminds you immediately of uh, fabulous uh, vetivers by G carvin by Guerlain, or even by tom ford very close also of the uh, gray vetiver by tom ford i can assure you so it this is this is a fabulous vetiver i love vetivers i don't know if you especially i love vetivers for fall and winter and my wife he also love vetivers on me and you know I really, uh, I, I always collect Vediverse, you know, and Vediverse has uh, always been uh, uh, my passion among the fragrances uh, category. I, I love Vediverse. Vediverse are very dear to me, and this one is an amazing Vediverse for the price. Uh, trust me, I prefer to wear this one rather than wearing the current version of Guerlain Vediverse. I don't want to hurt anyone, but uh, the, the current version of Guerlain, uh, compared to what it used to be, is a kind of joke. I'm sorry to say, it's a kind of joke for $150. You get a joke in the bottle. Uh, but this one, it's a very affordable uh, fragrance for $30, $35, or even less, you get a fabulous juice, 200 ml bottle. You don't get 100 ml you get 200 ml bottle so it means that it's enough for you at least for a year you can you you, you can have your waiver for a year so this is my take on bois uh, uh, the waiver by uh, pascal morabito the fabulous house uh, that was in initially a very trendy jewel maker in paris and they really got nice fragrances. The first fragrances were Or Noir. And they got some troubles. I don't know who owned this company, but it still is back on the track. They release uh, solid fragrances. And this one is one of them. So uh, if you never tried uh, Bois et Vetiver by uh, Pascal Morabito, give it a try. If you like Vetiver, you might like this one. Because this one, it's a kind of, old-fashioned vetiver it's not a modern vetiver i don't like the moderns vetiver because they added up sweetie and notes i don't like that here you have the old-fashioned style vetiver uh, with the animalic notes unfortunately the animalic notes uh, is not mentioned on fragrantica but i am sure there is an animalic note so take note of that have a great weekend ahead also uh, remember, wear only what you want to wear, and also stay tuned. One more thing, I tried the latest uh, Yves Saint Laurent uh, myself, rubbish. I uh, really rubbish. It's mainstream, it's a déjà vu, it's a copy of the copy of the copy. I don't know why uh, big brands, they try to release worthless fragrances. So
I'm, I'm really confused on that uh, special weird market. That's it. Stay tuned. Stay safe and sound. I'll be back soon with another fragrance review. Until then, cheerio.